Hi, my name is Ulf, and I'd like to show you how annotators translate English sentences into an abstract meaning representation, or AMR. We start with an English sentence over here, and with an empty AMR over there. And the first thing we do is identify the top semantic concept of the sentence, announce, and we type in top announce like so. We see there's a blue underlined announce now. We click on it and it means there's a frame with an argument structure arg0 for the announcer and arg1 for the utterance. We click on it to select it and now to add the announcer we actually use an action template add an e for add named entity which is maybe a little bit easier for a new annotator. We type in a head variable that's the thing right here a, we type in the role, arc0, from the frame we just saw. We have to type in a named entity type. If we don't quite know what to choose, we can click on this button over here. And from the menu that appears, we select person. And then we type in the name of the person, Rosevolt. I think I just dropped an O, but we'll worry about this later on. And now you can see here under under last command, um, the system displays what the text command of this whole same thing would have been, so that the uh, novice annotator can see how to type it in directly without having to go through this little mini form and interface. So for the second argument, we use the text command, and we add decide the verbal form. We get another frame here with R0 as the decider. And now instead of typing in Roosevelt again, we just type in P, referring to this P standing for this whole person over here. Co-reference it. The arg1 of the decision is run. Again, there's a frame, and now we have several different senses to choose from. We have to run a machine. We have to run a course or a contest. We can look at some examples over here. So we have to run a marathon. We have to run for president. So that actually seems to be the correct sense. We choose it. Again, the arc0 is P, as in person, Roosevelt. And arc1 is reelect. There's yet another frame. We select it, and now this time, Roosevelt is not the person re-electing, but the one who hopes to be re-elected. It's the ARC-1. And we see that Roosevelt, in fact, plays four different roles in the sentence over here. Um, there's a number of uh, editing options over here as well. We can delete things, uh, like the whole thing, or maybe just this part of it. And we'll add this back later on. So now we save the sentence over here. Uh, it's now being saved and we move on to the next sentence. And we see that uh, there's already a lot of stuff available here. Um, the sentence has been pre-processed. There's been uh, two named entities, person Shakespeare and uh, this birthplace uh, that's already being pre-processed and there's also something for the date. And I'd like to think of this dummy element over here as a quarry from which I can choose partial AMRs as I see fit. We start out as before. We have a top semantic element bear and the sense that we have here is to bear children with Shakespeare being the child. Okay. So now instead of just typing in P and referring uh, to this one over here, I type in P minus, which will actually take it away from the dummy element, like so. Now I add the birthplace. So we have B and now we need a location. And if I'm not sure, I type in a question mark here after the colon. And once I do that, I get a number of different uh, roles that I can choose from and I choose location. And then I do C minus to take it away from the dummy element, the city, over here. Okay. And I do the same thing for time. D minus. And then I use DD to delete the dummy element. And I'm done over here, except that, uh, in fact, uh, the sense specifies that Shakespeare's a poet. So we should actually... Um, update person to poet. All right. Um, 
Now there's a number of ways the editor supports the uh, annotator. There's a quick reference over here with details on the various uh, editor commands. There's a help um, page over here. Uh, we've already seen that we can look at the different roles that are available. Uh, we can click, for example, if we want to explore concession, we can click on examples here. We get a little bit of a description and several examples that the annotator might find helpful. There's also general topic pages, for example, on questions, uh, how to annotate questions. And finally, there is also a checker. We first maybe should not save this over here. There's a checker available, and we can check those two sentences that we did, and we check them all the way. And now we get the result here. We get two problems. Um, so the nouns and the decision and the run, the relation are all well covered. But we had a typo here, and then um, the his was not covered. So we go back to this AMR, and we post edit it, and we go back to Roosevelt and give him the second O. And then we also have to add back this role uh, over here. We do it, save it, and that's the only one that had a problem. Um, we're going back to the checker, check all sentences again, and we have no more errors that are being detected. So we have now successfully annotated two English sentences with their meaning. Thanks for your interest. Bye.